So we're going to be talking about the importance of failure on your path to success. Because a lot of people have this weird con con uh, misrepresentation of what it takes to be successful. It's like you either went and you were successful or you went and you were a failure. And recently I had a conversation with a subscriber and they're saying, Dylan, you know, I, I kind of look at you as a mentor. It's a very humbling feeling and very strange feeling. Uh, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. And I just don't see how I could ever be successful. Uh, and it was a strange thing because, uh, you know, he's talking about how he failed and failed and failed. And I was like, so did I. Uh, so <laughs> let me tell you why you're on the path to success. Uh, which may sound kind of counterintuitive, because we all fail at life. God knows my barber failed when he cut my hair recently. So let's dive into it, guys. I'm going to tell you about what, how I've been unsuccessful on my path to become a developer and how it's made me a better developer in the process. So I wanted to kind of start off by showcasing this picture. And it's something that I've... I've, I've really come to believe is true and in my personal experience has been. Um, and the, the reason I want to show it is I think a lot of people who maybe haven't yet achieved success kind of do think that you either are successful or you failed. Like it's just, you, you gave it a one shot and you were there and you were done. But in, in reality, to be successful about, at, and this goes for everything in life, right? This isn't just money and jobs, this is relationships, right? Let's say you gave up after the first time you went on a date. You'd be, you're going to be lonely, y'all. And most of, <laughs> most of you are not going to be, you know, you, you it didn't work out in your first relationship. Chances are, you know, that's 99% of the time. It's, it's just going to be you. You're going to have to have a lot more cats than I have if that's your dating strategy, right? Um, so, but in reality, what happens is you you gain something from your failures. You gain something from your your um, you know through the process, right? It's a journey, and I'm just going to show you one today. But I actually have five videos of just massive failures on my part. In the moment, yeah, it sucked. It not I'm not going to say it's not going to suck, but I did become a better person. I became a better developer, and I think that. I gained a lot of value for from that. So I just wanted to kind of show that. So what are we going to be talking about today? Well, um, if you've seen some of my reviews, I've talked about some of the projects I've had. This project, YourTube, which I thought was a really cool project, was the first hackathon I ever went to in Los Angeles. It's been about, I think it was about like 38 or 40 hours on the project and you know meeting people that's the whole this whole time period and I got to meet a lot of interesting people did I win the hackathon no and we had a pretty good chance cuz there's like 10 prizes and like 16 teams and we didn't win a single thing but what but there is something that I can gain out of this one I have a I have a portfolio project two I've met some great people three I've kind of thrown myself into an environment that now I'm more accustomed to so that maybe when I maybe when I go to the next hackathon, I fail a little bit less. Uh, let me show you guys this thing. I'm actually, I thought this was a really fun thing. This was uh, back when I only knew jQuery. Uh, just so a lot of people are like intimidated to go to hackathons. I don't blame them. I was extremely intimidated and I, I really put myself out there and I said, look, I'm probably going to fail. I really am. I'm probably going to show up, embarrass myself, and I've just accepted that that was okay, right? And uh, I'm gonna learn in the process. So you can see, like I, uh, we have. Uh, so the, the the premise behind your tube was that you were going to be able to search for YouTube videos uh, by your geolocation, right? And then you would eventually we would expand the idea out. And we built this in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, and some Bootstrap. So this is. Let's say we wanted to type in pizza. Oops, I did not want to print pizza. Say we search for pizza, it within 25 miles it would find, it would find the the videos who uploaded something about pizza because YouTube when you upload a video by default will store the geolocation and you can see here these little icons are actually the angel hack icon that's why we threw it over there and the the premise was that you could support your local content creators. And if you had something similar, like let's say you wanted a very authentic 
Mexican dish and you wanted, you thought maybe uh, it would have a more authentic, authentic recipe if we, you know, set the geolocation to maybe uh, Mexico, then you could get more related like enchilada recipes or whatever it may be. And then say, vice versa for anything else, then maybe the, the music scene in Austin, Texas, you could set it there. Now we didn't add that functionality, but that's where it was going. So this was something that I, I really enjoyed making. I met a lot of good people. I got exposed to a lot of good content, but I failed hardcore, right? I, I had to go up there along with my team and we presented it and I was tired and I was nervous and it was something where I put myself out there and you know this is the first fail, right? But I did learn in the process. I learned how much I could actually accomplish under pressure. I learned how I could work with teammates. I learned, um, you know, what what sort of what actually goes on at a hackathon, and I overcame that experience. And, and in that way, there is a lot of success in your failures, right? Maybe I failed the event, but now I'm less nervous about going to hackathons. I understand what to expect. I understand how to participate in a much more hands-on approach. And I think it's really valuable. A lot of times people, they they do go and they, they just look at the failure of the event. And I, it'd be very easy, right? I put myself out there. I went with teams. I devoted an entire weekend to this. And what did I come back with? A free t-shirt, right? Like nothing nothing great. Um, and I was I was very proud of our project. I understand why we lost, which is good. Don't be all, don't get like an ego and say, oh, I should have won, man. This bullshit this is rigged. You know, don't, don't be like that. But understand that even though you failed, there are things that you can take away from it. Because if you don't, and you don't under, you don't see the benefit in the process, you're gonna you're gonna lose out on a lot of the value. Because those big wins, those big wins, right? Like the like for a lot of you who are trying to break into software and tech, that big win for you might be landing your first real salaried role. There's going to be a lot of failures along the way, right? And you need to be prepared for that. And you need to learn from that, right? Maybe you go through a four, five-step interview process and and uh, you by the end of it, you think you got the job, you don't get the job. Learn from that process and then maybe next time that happens, you'll get there. And when you get that success, right, you get that trophy, for instance, just know that that's not the end of your failures, right? You're going to fail a lot of stuff along the way because your goals are going to get larger. They're going to get more grand. And you're going to put yourself out there even more because the stakes are higher. And just try and learn from the, the failures and you will be successful. What happens is, is a lot of people stop at this first failure. And I don't want I don't want anybody here to do that. They they put themselves out there that one time, right? They they you know, whether that's in relationships, you kind of throw your heart out there and it gets decimated, right? How how many people in here have just had their shit stomped on with as if you did something very personal, right? So like maybe maybe I'm like jumping back to high school. You know who you are. You know who you are. No, I'm just I'm just kidding. But the point is, um you uh the, you you will put yourself out there in various aspects of life. Uh, learn from it when it doesn't go your way and don't stop throwing yourself out there. Just learn from it and continue on. And sometimes uh, when you take on a very pessimistic and negative attitude on life, what happens is you, you say, hold up, last time I put myself out there, whether it be work, love, uh, fi finances, whatever it may be, I got crushed. I'm just not going to do it anymore. I'm going to I'm going to play it safe down the middle and never actually try and, you know, we're talking about bite-sized steps. Bite, bite, bite size. And I would I would encourage you not to take that approach and I would encourage you to actually continue having hopes and having dreams and uh, throwing yourself out there and if one out of 5 of your dreams lands after four failures, I think that's a pretty good success rate in, in my eyes. So, to summarize, guys, um, here is one of my five failures and just because I'm doing five videos on failures does not mean that I have failed only five times I assure you with this week we could we could start a second channel with how many times <laughs> I have failed and The reason I want to show it is for this individual who's who said hey, you know I, I kind of look up to you which is so crazy that someone says that but uh, If I if if the person that this this person looks up to has failed. Maybe they will feel better about their own failures and understand that 
you know what, it is just part of the process and we are going to continue to strive to get better and we're going to accomplish our goals and to kind of look at our failures in a different way. So that's today's message. Look forward to in two days next. You're going to see me. I filmed the video of me super salty about a failure, trying to be positive about it. And I think I was positive, but I was pretty salty about it. Look forward to that next one. Uh, so thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it. I hope you all are working hard at whatever it is that you're doing. And if you did fail, don't worry about it. Just kind of take 20, 30 minutes. It's okay for like 15, 20 minutes to feel sorry for yourself, but don't, don't be any longer than that and say, all right, back to the grind, back to, back to the next failure or success, right? And uh, that's really what it's all about. So keep, keep going. Uh, work hard. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Support me on Patreon. All that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. All right, guys. It's day two of the hackathon. Um, got about six hours of sleep. Probably closer to five. Um, getting ready. We, we got one major bug left in our code, and we can't seem to fit figure out how to fix it so I have about five hours to um, try and fix it me and my team and uh, hopefully that happens um, but an interesting experience so far uh, definitely the working together and splitting up work is much different than coding alone um, being part of a team gives you some insight onto um, maybe the work environment and how that would happen um, setting milestones is kind of a, a cool thing as well like this is our first milestone like this our feature list in our example in our case we needed to get the local videos from youtube uh so our, to support local content creators that's our premise support local content creators so like you would support a local business so when i look for javascript tutorials i can look for javascript tutorials in los angeles and support content creators there uh, within a certain distance now um, we did we got that working that's actually working but now we're trying to use one of the um, ERSI um, API apps for the competition to map it correctly and um, getting in getting a bit of a problem there so um, going in right now um, not too optimistic I'm, I'm really actually tired I was there till about midnight from like 8 a.m. 8.30 to midnight coding and now I'm pretty uh, pretty exhausted but we're going back in and uh, we're gonna give it a shot because they offer free Red Bull also baby you know what I'm saying that free Red Bull will carry us all right see you guys soon hey guys thanks for watching the video if you happen to be looking for a boot camp I couldn't recommend Dev Mountain any higher they also include housing with their tuition so you can get up and go and get started right away Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.